Many of Colorado's negative political ads these days should be stamped made in Washington. The newest ad takes on Democratic congressional candidate Jason Crow. He's challenging Republican Congressman Mike Kaufman in the district that covers much of Aurora and Thornton out east of DIA. Crow is a military veteran, but this ad suggests he has failed the military. Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger. Meet Jason Crow, another all talk, no action politician. Hang on, let's stop here. Politician depends on your definition. Democratic congressional candidate Jason Crow has never run for or been elected to office before. He was appointed to the state's Board of Veterans Affairs, which you're going to learn more about. Crow served on the Board of Veterans Affairs, where it was his job to advocate for veterans. Crow failed. The failed part is straight up opinion. The part about advocating for veterans is true because that's the role of the Colorado Board of Veterans Affairs. Let's rewind a couple seconds. You see the sentence, Crow was supposed to serve our veterans, along with a reference to an Aurora Sentinel article from July 2017. Those words on screen have nothing to do with the article, which is simply a story about Crow challenging Kaufman. Now back to the ad and more about the Colorado Board of Veterans Affairs. While veterans suffered because of mismanagement at the VA, Jason Crow didn't show up for work, skipping a third of the board's meetings, neglecting veterans. This section is so busy, we need to break it down bit by bit. The Colorado Board of Veterans Affairs advocates for Colorado veterans, but has no active role in building hospitals or reducing wait times. The board had no role in the mismanagement of the VA. That's the Department of Veterans Affairs in Washington, D.C. In fact, in the 2013 annual report when Crow was still a board member, it stated, it is clear there is a systemic problem and one that the board in Colorado cannot solve. As for Crow's attendance record as a board member, it's true. We found he missed 19 of 51 meetings while a member of the board. 14 were excused, at least two were not. The next closest absent board member missed one out of every five meetings. The Colorado Board of Veterans Affairs controls the Veterans Trust Fund, which helps improve state veteran nursing homes, covers costs at state veteran cemeteries, and it also helps veterans maybe get their car fixed so they can make a medical appointment. Kyle, first of all, I'm sure everyone's learning that this board exists for the first yeah. time. Does not do pretty much anything that that ad suggests. No, you oh. <laughs> hold on a second. Oh, look at that. All right. Thank you, Marshall.